so hi guys in this video i'll be telling you how to install evolution x version 7.0 for redmi k40 poco f3 or the mi 11x so the prerequisites are you need to be in a log bootloader you need to be in miui or any other custom roms based on android so hi guys in this video i'll be telling you how to install evolution x so hi guys, in this video I'll be telling you how to install Evolution X version 7.0 based on Android 13 for Mi 11X, Redmi K40 or the Poco F3. So the prerequisites are you need an unlocked bootloader, you should be in MIUI or any other custom ROMs and the recommended firmware for this ROM is 13.0.4 and it's fine to be on the latest firmwares. And you need to remove your password and security. If you are an MIUI, remove your MI account. If you are on uh, custom ROMs based on AOSP, then remove your Google accounts. And once all of them are done, you can do a reboot. And now you can head into your file manager. You need to be having these two files, which is the ROM zip and the Orange Fox. So once you have both of them installed, reboot into your Orange Fox recovery. We will be using Orange Fox for this because TWRP doesn't show internal storage sometimes in Android 13, so that's why. So well, if you are on a custom ROM and you, uh, you had to flash the firmware which is the 13.0.4 firmware so you need to be flashing that if you are on a custom ROM so since I am on a ROM based on MIUI and I am on the correct firmware so I will be heading into the wipe and I will be clicking on Dalvik Art Cache and swipe to wipe now go home, click on files and now click on the evolution allow it uh, uncheck everything and swipe to confirm flash this will be taking some time so please kindly wait so well, once your ROM is being flashed, you can go back, you can select your Orange Fox recovery and you can swipe to install. Once your recovery has flashed, you can click on the home button, go to menu and click on reboot and click on your recovery. So now we'll go into wipe format data type in yes and then click ok there's no loop or something so well once your format data has been success you can click on reboot system and it says no is installed it's fine you can swipe to reboot so well well our ROM has been booted so let's click on get started let me just do a quick setup so well here we go our rom has put it rom looks so damn good now let's see the qs panel oh well 1060 or so let me just put it to 120 and here we go this is your this is how the rom smooth is and this is the qs panel we got this new feature on android 13 i think I haven't seen this in any Android 12 custom ROMs. This is how the QS panel looks. And the ROM is based on Android 13. So let's go ahead and give a look to that. So we need to stop here. So we need to get it starting. Long press to change. That's pretty good Android 13. So well the kernel version they are using is no kernel and the maintainer is here. So let's become a developer and yes I am a developer now let's go to the evolver and see the settings. Themes we have dark theme and yeah well it's on. We have different packs for Wi-Fi, icon shapes, signal shapes and the full icon pack we have here and power menu we can use the advanced power menu as available in the other custom roms screenshots flashlights we have so many like that we will be getting them but yeah you're gonna long press the power, power button you're gonna open your google lesson so now we need to scroll down the qs panel and click on the reboot sign we can be seeing the advanced option right here so that was it about the Power menu and quick settings. We have these and animations, screen turn off, CRT and scale. We have these miscellaneous, 
we have always on display we have these little options before we had a custom time now we have turns on from a time till sunrise turns on from a time sun, sunset till a time turns on from sunset to sunrise these were the options added and we have unlimited so photo storage in the google google photos and unlock higher fps in games launch music app on headphone connection show temperature warning with the configuration and gestures we have the gestures as usual we have the charging animation as usual and the rom has google apps installed so we don't need to flash it separately and we got the dolby atmos right here so we don't need to worry about the people who love dolby atmos so that is all for this video if you liked it please like share and subscribe bye